Hey, I'm back. Um, I tried to do this just as a continuation of the last video, but I ran out of space on my camera. Whoops. <laughs> um, so I'm here with Diva, Princess Diva Icicle the Second, of course, and she actually works very nicely on this body. <laughs> um, the only thing is the neck is a giraffe neck. Um, it's not too bad when her coat's up because you don't really notice it, um, but when I take the coat away, you can see it. So I'm going to be taking that down some, uh, just so her head sits further in. Um, because right now, um, because of the fit, I think the neck is just a bit thicker than the, um, than the neck hole, so her head is actually sitting on the very top rather than sitting in, um, which is probably affecting how that looks a lot. Um, but she looks great with it. This is the gray with number one and her green eyes. Um, the eye wells are really funny in this head. Um, they're on an angle, which makes sense because her eyes are on an angle, but it means that trying to move the eyes is quite strange um this is the this actually took some fighting um but the kind of cross-eyed was what she wants to do most easily i'm actually quite happy that the elf ears can be worn with this wig um just by going by um owner information as well as um kind of what Dalmore had suggested, I thought that she would have to be in her elf ears, um, her short elf ears, rather, a lot, um, because wig fitting can be a problem, but it wasn't. <laughs> it worked just fine. Um, so the system for the ears works really well, except for when the head cap comes off, because these guys just come out with it. Um, so I'm probably going to do a little bit of putty, um, just to make sure that, you know, when I take it, the head cap off, that the rest of it doesn't go with. Okay, see, that would explain why I couldn't get... Okay, so the, um, S-hook is sitting really funny, um, and I was actually looking at it, I was like, okay, I can see how you slot it to pull it out, but I couldn't... There isn't like a super clearly defined um, slot for it to be the S hook in a horizontal position. So I was thinking, oh no, it's like an O ring and I don't have any O rings. Um, but there is actually a resin loop in here. And as my Volk dolls, <laughs> Volk doll has taught me, um, you can put an S-hook in that, or you can tie an elastic in there. Um, but if you do the elastic route, you do have to have something inside of it holding in place. Um, I'll just show you what the inside looks like. Um, so you can see that's a very round, it's like, it's a round hole. Um, which makes me think that I'm supposed to put the S-hook into that hook. <laughs> But on the good side, that is a lot stronger looking hook than the one that is in um, my Volks Girl. Mind you, my Volks Girl is from 2003, so uh, Volks has changed it since. <laughs> this is the other wig for Princess Diva. Um, and I actually bought it specifically for her. Uh, this gray wig just happened to come with the doll. Um, but this one I bought with her in mind, and I love how pale it is. Um, if I actually hold them side by side, this one has pink mixed into it as well as at the end. Versus this one has gr has gray and what almost looks like green in some lights. You can see that it's, this one's a lot paler. So I'm going to put this ear stay in place. Da -da -da -da. Moment of truth is coming. <laughs> the peg goes in, the buttons go on. 
buckle elastics. <laughs> they are a wonder. I also have never had them, um, like, get leached into the resin, which is really good. Um, I don't know if it's just because of how old mine are or what. Um, but I don't think so, because I think I used one that was, like, that I just washed after I got off of this, off of the broccoli, and it was fine. Oh, she can absolutely do the long alpheres with this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my god. It's my princess! Henry. Holy crap! Princess.